Good morning everybody. So today is Tuesday. The last video I posted was on Sunday and I talked about how it was going to rain on Monday. Well it did. We had a terrible day at market. So that happened. We brought it all back. Well not all of it but most of it. Got it in the cooler. So now I'm here in the shed. This is what the guys got picked um, yesterday on Sunday or Monday sorry. They got tomatoes picked. Um, they got the onions shucked. I told you how they got them out of the ground but they just shelled the outside layer off so they're clean now. Some banana peppers, green bell, red bell, cherry peppers, and some giant marconi. So I'm gonna back the truck in. Me and dad are gonna get that unloaded. Then I gotta take some stuff to the market. Dad's gonna go out to the field and start digging some potatoes. It's supposed to rain, but we have a lot of the bags ordered for Wednesday. So we gotta get a lot dug and get them in, hopefully before any rain gets on them, get them dried off, so that we can bag them without having any issues. If you bag them wet, then you run the risk of them rotting in the bag, and we don't want that. All right, so I got the van unloaded. I headed out to the market. Like I said, dad's out in the field right now digging. We're starting to get a little bit of a sprinkle now. Hopefully it doesn't turn into any more than that. I'm gonna head out with a bunch of baskets and we're gonna start picking some potatoes. So me and dad are here in the white potatoes and you can't tell from this camera angle, but it's actually really muddy and there's a lot of mud actually on the potato that we have to take off so it's taking us a little more time. But other than that, it's going really well. You can see there's quite a few potatoes there. He did kill the weeds which was nice. So now we don't have to fight with them the whole time we're picking. So now we're moving on to the red, and as you can see, they're a little smaller than the white, but they're still really nice, and there's almost no weeds in these ones, so it's a lot easier picking. So now we're back to the field, we're going to start picking them up. It was just me and my dad picking them up. It took us about two hours and we got about 50 baskets, which wasn't bad. So 
So now we're gonna start bagging 50 pound bags of potatoes. When we bag these potatoes, we always wanna bag them dirty so that they last longer. Cause usually when people buy these, they're buying these to store through the winter. And that way they can have potatoes, farm fresh all the time and not have to buy them from the store. Especially when placing the first couple of potatoes in the bag, I want to be careful that way I don't bruise them. And as you can see, I'm kind of picking the potatoes off the top of each basket because underneath they haven't dried yet and they're still muddy. And like I said before, I don't want to place them in the bag wet because then they could run the risk of rotting. So now this bag is just about done. You never want to fill them all the way to the top because then it's actually way over 50 pounds. And I just want to check the window, make sure it's good, and then it's ready to be tied. So you can see out of the 50 some baskets we picked up, we actually picked out the top potatoes of almost every basket. And that's just because we have a lot of bags ordered and that customers want. So we just had to get as many as we could. So now moving on to tying the bags. It's a lot more difficult than like the corn because the material of this kind of bag is a lot more thick and stiff. Where do you want to put them? Just, if they're in your way, we won't do it yet. We'll get a foul. You can go up a little higher. That way they'll stack fire. All right. But I'm gonna waste them. Just see what we're doing. This is gonna matter. They look about right. Some of them look white. So after we got done picking up and loading the potatoes, we brought them into the shed where we washed them right here. We got the red and the white, and then we separate the babies, and then these are the ones that aren't so perfect. Then we also did crates of them, washed, and then here they are bagged. We couldn't bag up too many of them just because they were still wet, like they were really wet and muddy when we were picking up out of the field. It's just that kind of day where nothing's drying out real well. It's kind of muggy out um, and cloudy. So we knew they weren't gonna dry out real good in the basket. So what we did was we just picked them off the top, the driest of them, put them in the bags, and then now they're ready to go. We just didn't wanna take any kind of risk of the potatoes rotting in the bag and uh, then people coming back and being disgusted. So now there shouldn't be any problem and the customers should be happy. So now I came up to pick some summer squash in our old patch. It's pretty amazing how good they're doing. I found out after cutting a couple that I could actually just twist them off a lot easier. So now moving on to yellow zucchini. These stems are actually a lot harder, so some of these I did have to cut.
now I'm on the green zucchini, but this is actually in the new patch now. So now I came out to the pumpkin field to get some squash and gourds. Here I'm picking spaghetti squash. And as you can see, they're loaded, but right now I'm just getting the biggest ones. Now I'm on the butternut. These stems are probably harder than any fruit or vegetable out there. Moving on to acorn now. I like these a lot because they don't need the clippers and I can just snap them right off. When they have that orange belly, that means they're ripe and ready to go. And so now I'm moving into decoratives. These are casparitas. Now I'm picking pumpkin muns. These are orangitas.
And lastly, I'm picking Weeby Littles. All right, so I just got done picking. I got a nice little load here, as you can see. Got some Pumpkimon, got some Orangita, got some Casparitas in the back there. Um, butternut, spaghetti, acorn. So um, this will all be good. We just wanna restock some stuff at the market, keep everything full since it's the peak of the season right now. Hopefully this kind of stuff should just keep selling better and better now since it's getting closer to Halloween. But as you can see, we've got a ton of stuff to sell here yet. Probably with all these little gourds and stuff like that, we've got over half the field done, but the field's big, so half the field left is a lot. But anyway, I think I'm gonna call it a wrap for this video. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. And always remember, it ain't much, but it's honest work.